Shalom and welcome back to Coach Archer. Isn't it a crazy looking picture? I think it said something about it being a cosmic verse. But when I saw that, I wanted to use this in this <coughs> um, lecture um, to prove a point. Lately, the sun has appeared to be something very, very intense. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, one thing I want to talk to you about is what the Zohar has to say about um, Nibiru. And I want to tie it into um, what's in scripture. So I want you, to, the point, the reason for doing this is because of, um, you know, those of you that follow Rabbi Glazerson, he often mentions what the Zohar says. So some of you have asked, uh, exactly what is it he says. Darla has done the research and compiled for me a list of those things. I'm going to read those to you. Uh, so, of course, this is extra biblical. This is not uh, uh, something inspired, in other words, but uh, it's something to, to consider. I've done this with the students over at the codesearcher.com um, school. So I wanted to share with the rest of you on YouTube. So, um, but first let's go to the actual scriptures. We'll do that. Isaiah 24 uh, is something very concerning. Um, this is yet to be fulfilled, by the way. And listen, I know Nibiru, Wormwood, all that's kind of taboo to some. Many of us say it's just um, nonsense. They play it off. Wormwood is just um, you know symbolic in other words and Chernobyl so and so. But I disagree. I actually believe it is a part of the system that has been clearly photographed. You can see here I believe this is the Caltech um, photographs of <coughs> the Let's see if we can go. There we go. That's even better. Look at this. So, for those of you that say no one has seen it, that is not exactly true. Um, this thing has been uh, concealed. Uh, there's no other way to put it. It's been concealed. So, this is the photograph. You can see uh, the, the red dot there. Then there's something in front of it, maybe the dark planet. Uh, then, of course the orbiting satellites. Um, years and years and years, NASA has been knowing about this. Dr. Harrington murdered over this to keep it from the public. So, um, you know, I find it interesting that they put probes out um, to triangulate this thing. We can see perturbation in planets, in uh, you know, the way th that the earth is showing, uh, you know, disasters everywhere. Uh, seems like nature is just crazy. Um, you remember the rovers? I talked about the rovers on Mars, how I thought it was preposterous that they would put those things there to search for water. And it seemed to me that um, there, there was an agenda there. And indeed, the Holy Spirit confirmed to me and showed me in the codes that they were forward observers. And then, of course, it was sometime later after that, that uh, Ison and Siding Spring had an encounter with Mars. But, um, yeah, I think we're within a few years of this event happening. Uh, I did find the words 20 years in one of the tables that we're going to talk about in just a moment on the Biru. Uh, but uh, let's talk about the $6 trillion that's missing from, uh, the, pen, from you know, the Pentagon. Uh, some suspect that this is what they've been working on. Many of you ha have heard about the dumb sites, the dumb project, deep underground um, bunker sites. And what they are is a series of underground tunnels that connect all 
these cities. Um, there is another map that shows tunnels that connect the East Coast to the West Coast. Um, so some are suspecting that this is where that money has been dumped into. Others believe that it's more likely that they are investing in a space program um, protocol to divert whatever is coming. Um, but one thing's for sure, the scriptures indicate <clears throat> that the elite hide in the ground and in the mountains, uh, in the caves, in the clefts and the rocks, and um, are crying out. So um, let's go to the scripture, and then I want to read you something from the Zohar, and then I'm going to show you something in the codes that we've been looking at. And I'm not just the only one. Gladerson and, and several students, and uh, I believe Chris Ray is also looking at some of these things. So Here we go. Isaiah 24. It says, See you who was making the earth empty, and making it waste, and overturn its surface, and scatter its ab uh, abroad its inhabitants. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priests, and so with the servant, so with the master, as with the female servant, as with her mistress, as with the buyer and the seller and the lender, so with the borrower and the creditor, so with the debtor. The earth is completely emptied and utterly plundered, for he who has spoken his word. The earth shall mourn and wither, the world shall languish and wither, and the haughty people of the earth shall languish. For the earth has been defiled under its inhabitants, because they have transgressed the Torah, changed the law, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore a curse shall consume the earth, and those who dwell in it be punished. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth shall be burned, and few men shall be left. The new wine shall fail, and the vine shall languish, and all those glad in heart shall sigh. The joy of the tamarind shall cease, the noise of those who rejoice shall end. The joy of the liars shall cease. No more do they drink wine with song. Strong drink is bitter to those who drink it. The deserted city shall be broken down, and every house shall be shut. No one enters. There is crying for wine in the streets, and all joy be darkened. The gladness of the earth shall be gone. The city is left in ruin, and the gate is stricken with destruction. For thus it is to be in the midst of the earth among the peoples, like the shaking of the olive tree, like the gleaning of the grapes, when the great harvest is done. They lift up their voice, they sing of excellency of Yahuwah. They shall cry aloud from the sea. Therefore praise Yahuwah in the east, in the name of Yahuwah Elohim of Yisrael, in the coastlands of the sea, and from the ends of the earth, we shall hear songs, splendor to the righteous one. But I say, I waste, I waste away. Woe to me, the treacherous betray, the treacherously betray. Fear of the pit and the snare are upon you, O inhabit of the earth. And it shall be he who flees from the noise shall f of the fear shall fall in the pit. And he who comes up from the midst of the pit is caught in the snare. For in the windows from on high shall be opened, and the foundations of the earth is shaken. The earth shall be utterly broken, and the earth shall be completely shattered. The earth shall be fiercely shaken, and the earth shall stagger like a drunkard. It shall totter like a hut, and its transgression shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall, and not rise again, and in that day it shall be Yahuwah punishes on the high host of the exalted ones, because this is about fallen angels as well, folks, these, you heard me in another video talk about these planets representing um, heavenly hosts, uh, and on the earth, the sovereigns of the earth, and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit and shall be shut up in the prison and be punished after many days. The moon shall blush and the sun shall be ashamed for Yahuwah a 
of Zalot shall reign in Mount Zion in the Yerushalayim before his elders in esteem. And then in Zephaniah 3, I believe in verse 8, it says, Therefore wait for me, declares Yahuwah, until the day I rise up for plunder. For my judgment is to gather the nations to assemble rains and to pour out on them my rage on my burning wrath. For by the fire of my jealousy, all the earth be consumed. For then shall I turn the people to a pure language or a clean lip, so that they shall call on the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one shoulder. Now, let me take you to um, just a few of the, the citations of uh, the Zohar, um, which is a, a, a sage a couple a few thousand years, I believe, is it, Darla? Yeah. Um, it, is, it is part of mysticism. Listen, the, the point here is this is why Glazerson is citing uh, the Zohar and that he's taking a consideration of Nibiru based on the things that we are finding over here at this, uh, at, at this channel. Um, the plasma discharge, things like that. So I want you to listen to what it is said. <clears throat> Shemot 7a, a pillar of fire will be seen standing from above to below 40 days. All the nations will see it. And at the time, Melech Homoshiach will awaken and go out from God Eden from the place called Konzephor and will be revealed in the Galil. On that day that Mashiach goes out from there, the entire world will shake, and all the world will hide themselves in caves and clefts of the rock, and they will and they will think to be saved. And after forty days that the pillar will stand from the earth to the heavens, and the eyes of all the world of the Mashiach will be revealed. A star will raise from the east side, flaming all colors. And the seven other stars will go down around this star and make war with all on all sides three, day, three times a day for 70 days. And all the people of the world will see. And that same star will make war with them with the blazes of fire and flaming and sparking each side. And it would hit them until it swallows them each and every night. And then in the day it returns and expels them and make war with it with in the eyes of the whole world. After seven days, 70 days, the storm will be concealed and Moshiach will be concealed for 12 months. And the pillar of fire will return to the way it was before. And in it, Moshiach will be concealed and the pillar will not be seen. And then in Shemos 8a, uh, it says, And one awesome star will awaken in the middle of the firmament like an argument, flaming and sparking in the day in the eyes of the whole world. And aim, the, the flame of fire will arise on the north side in the midst of the firmament, and these will stand one op op opposed to the other for forty days. And the star and the flame will make war in the eyes of all, and the flame will spread out with a burning uh, of fire in the midst of, of Rakia from the north side. Numerous rulers and kings and nations and people will be terrified of this. Then a star will arise from the south side and will take control of the flame, and the flame will be consumed slowly in the firmament in the front of that star until it won't until it won't be seen at all. And I personally believe this is. Uh, the plasma discharge with, with the static uh, universe of these passing uh, bodies. Um, then the star will, will uh, pass of the firmament in 12 directions, and these lights will stand in the firmament for 12 days. And after the 12 days, the people of the world will tremble, and the sun will go dark for half a day. And like it went dark on the day, when the Bet uh, when the uh, 
Bet Mikdash, which is the temple, uh, was destroyed until the heavens uh, and the earth will be seen. And then in the lot uh, 212b, it goes on to say, We have learned that in the future the Holy One will rebuild you shall Jerusalem and show one steady, steady star flashing with 70 pillars of fire or the 70 sparks which illuminated from it in the middle of the sky. And there will be 70 other stars which are commanded and controlled from it. And they will illuminate the flame in the, star, in the sky for 70 days. And on the sixth day and on the 25th day of the sixth month, the star will appear. And we gather on the seventh day and at the end of 70 days, on the first day, it will be seen in the city of Rome. On the same day, three supernal walls of that city of Rome will fall, and a great hell uh, will fall. The ruler of that city will die, and then this star will spread out to be seen in the world. And in that time, uh, the strong wars among the Gentiles will awaken in the world on all four sides, and evil will not will not be found among them. And faith will not be found among them. That's very interesting. So uh, this is implying that um, the current Pope will pass away. Uh, could this be why the Vatican has the, um, the telescope Lucifer uh, in the middle of the world when that star will shine and in the middle of the sky a great king will arise and rule the world? And his spirit will gain pride over all the kings, and he will awaken a war on two sides, and he will become strong against them. On that day the star will be concealed. The holy land will quake 45 miles around the place of the temple, and uh, one cave under the ground will be revealed. From this cave will come out a strong fire to burn the world, and from this cave a supernatural branch will grow and it will rule over the whole world. And to it be, will it be given to uh, the kingdom, the super, uh, the super now, the supernatural holy ones will be, under, be, will be gathered to it. And then Mashiach will be revealed in the entire world and the kingdom will be given to him. Uh, Vayera 119a and at 66 years, uh, Hamashiach will be revealed in the land of the Galileo when the star of the east side will swallow seven stars on the north side. And a flame of the black fire, wow, black fire. I, this is the first time that I noticed this because I want to show you in this table we're going to look at this very thing. Darla can confirm this. The three letters that can, that make up that name, which also means co to conceal or to obscure, appears right here. Black fire will be hanging in the firmament 60 days, and the wars will be, be awakened in the world on the north side. And the two kings uh, will fall in these wars, and the entire world will come together against um, uh, Jacob, the Jewish nation, uh, to push her from the world. And of this time it will be written, and at a time of trouble for Jacob, for he will be saved. And at that time all the souls of the treasury of souls will be finished, and needing to return to be renewed. And on the sign for you is, is all the souls that came to Yaakov from Mitzarim, uh, etc. And then the uh, ter Terumah. 172b. Then the seventh window will open in the entire world, and, the, and it's a star. It's a chachav of Jacob. Uh, and, you, <laughs> and you saw Glazerson did a Nibiru table talking about the star of Jacob. Here it is, and this is why he, he mentions it, is because of this passage here. The star of Jacob, which will be luminous for 40 days and 40 nights, when the Hamashiach be revealed. And all the peoples of the world be gathered to him. And then the verse will be fulfilled, which states, 
um, the root of Yeshai, uh, which stands as a banner to the people. And to him the nations inquire, and peace shall be with them in honor. Now, uh, here is something really interesting. Uh, I don't know, a few months ago, I saw a video that um, a very big YouTuber did. <clears throat> um, and I hope you don't mind that I do this. I don't have any other resource, so if he dings me on it, I'll pull the video. But I want to show you this. It's called Operation Star Shade. Uh, now, think about this. Six trillion dollars goes missing. You think it just goes missing? They're doing things like this. Um, they put rovers on Mars, say they're looking for water, light. Spend billions to do that. I don't believe it. I don't buy it. There's always a cover story. So there's a cover story to this. But this is a very interesting uh, gadget they have. If you follow um, Steve Olson and some of the other guys that are watching this uh, Nibiru um, anomaly, uh, there's been speculation about something uh, being moved in front of the sun. Uh, so I want to share something with you and then show you something in this table that's incredible. All right, so I'm going to start playing that and just show you how this thing is being deployed. All right, so this is the satellite. Um, I think it is tethered to this somewhat of an umbrella. Uh, here is the Sechi, I believe it's Sechi imagery of this thing when it's being deployed. So... People were talking about, what is this thing? Looks like a lens of some sort. Could be the other thing. I think it's too obscure. Whatever's in, around the sun or in the sky. Some speculate that it is an amplifier. Um, the cover story for it is it blocks out the, the, the stars, so to speak, so that this camera system can get a better shot of whatever it's looking at. Yeah, right. Um, but anyway, it's it's very large. Um, they can move it. As you can see here, there is actual imagery of them doing that. And uh, this is what it looks like. So it's called Operation Star Shade. Right? So... This table here <laughs> is where I find, uh, and it's very simple. We got Nibiru right here, 20 years, and they've been observing this thing for a very long time. Um, up here, we, we've got a word that, that can represent concealed, um, Nefel, the fallen, but also here, um, the Aleph Pe Lamed, which is the black fire. You see that? It's connected to each other, the black fire. It was just mentioned in the Zohar. And not only that, but you have Nibiru with starshade right next to it. Death is here. NASA in the plain text with the destroyer and of course the dragon. Um, we also got uh, what was uh Ganus, Ganus, which is hidden down here. But this was really interesting here. Watch. Uh, the bet, uh, excuse me, the, the Kaf, Vav, Kaf, Bet, and then the Kaf, Vav, Kaf, Bet, back on itself. Frontwards and backwards, we have Kachav, which is the star. Um, Betsar, which is um, the, um, remind me, darling, what is Betsar? Um, oh, God, sorry, it's the unknown things. The unknown things. Inaccessible. Inaccessible right there. And it's connected with Wormwood. Uh, Wormwood also right here. Um, and then also Kachav over there as well. One of the other tables is the star Nibiru. Look at that. Very small. Skip. Oh, it's 20, 21. Uh, I'm going to do a, another video on this one because I don't want this... Um, the one you're watching not to run too long. Uh, but this is very interesting, very preliminary so far. Lots of letters, but we got, uh, you know, the blood there. Um, 
the star Nibiru uh, passage from Daniel over here that's very interesting. Uh, and of course, uh, Abaddon down here at the bottom, Wormwood at the top. And what was the other one I got here? Oh, oh one that Glazerson just put out today. Uh, look at this, the fire of the Mashiach. And uh, he, he, he didn't mention this, but Yeshua's name or Yahushua is right there. Uh, son of Joseph and Nibiru come together with Meteor. Uh, and then he also mentioned uh, Ephraim. I happen to see uh, 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 the Bari Yahua, which is the word of Yahua. Of course, Yeshua referred to himself as the word. It's there three times, but there's again another Nibiru table that he um, did. And by the way, it is at a width of 50, so that's very interesting. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're interested in searching um, Bible codes, please go to thecodesearcher.com forward slash apply. It's very simple, um, it's a monthly subscription. We provide all the materials that you need, all the resources, the code programs, it all comes out of that. Um, you will not regret it. It's a great program. We've had great success so far. So go over there uh, and, and, uh, and apply. For those who want to help and donate to this ministry, go to thecodesearcher.com forward slash donate and you can help us out. Uh, so uh, pray about that and we would uh, surely appreciate you doing that. So please share this information, guys. I, I believe it's pertinent to be out there. The evidence is is on the wall. This is just another example. Um, this is not sensationalism. This is actually um, mathematical probabilities shown in the scriptures of current events. Things that that you could layer with data points and it paints a picture. So uh, shalom. We love you, and we'll see you in the next video.